Hey y'all, if you're looking for a good place to get cheap, reliable MT, then I recommend you head over to DVDJ.com. But what is up with y'all? It's Yip Hap Boy, and it is free freaking agency time. But I'm still here on 2K19. I'm still in the lab like I never left because I didn't. By the way, speaking of testing new things, got a little announcement for y'all. Next season for 2K20, I will be able to get into the My League settings, the progression sliders, the trade sliders, contracts, all that stuff. And I can't wait. I mean, I really, like, really get into that part of the game. Like, for real, if you think you've seen me nerd out before, get, get, get ready. Hey, we're, we're about to... Take it way too far, probably, but at least we'll have everything right. So just to try to get a feel for it, I put all the sliders on default. I started doing just some basic testing. And a lot of you guys have probably noticed this about me. Once I start, I have a hard time stopping. So long story short, somehow I ended up running exactly 500. Actually, you know what? That's not true. I actually ended up running 1,000, exactly 1,000 simulations on this free agency class. Okay, don't judge me. It's just because the whole Anthony Davis to the Lakers thing happened. So I did another 500 with that trade in place. But you know, this is actually useful information for me. I mean, getting some insight into how the game thinks, or in some cases doesn't think, about the whole free agency process, that can only help us going into 2K20. Now let's just get into it. Let's see what the 2K free agency prediction machine says. First up, we got Kemba Walker staying with the Hornets. Not, not a bad prediction by 2K on there. Let's move on to the next one. They got Kawhi going back to the Raptors. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. They also have D'Angelo Russell staying with the Nets, which I guess that kind of makes sense when you look at the next one um, in a related story. They got, they, they got Kyrie going back to the Celtics. <laughs> but I guess it's not really good at taking into account all the personalities, all the dysfunction on that roster. Uh, I definitely could be right on D'Angelo Russell staying there, which would mean obviously Kyrie wouldn't go there, but he ain't going back to Boston. We can scratch that. All right, there's one more guy 2K thinks is going to stay put, and that is Kevin Durant. You know who I am. I think this one came out about 75% him going back to Golden State. Now, before he got injured, I thought he was gone, but 2K has spoken. They got KD going back to the Bay. Okay, let's really get into it here. Who's moving where? First up, Knicks fans. 2K thinks you have hope this summer. Just maybe not exactly the kind of hope you were hoping for. But they do have two free agents signing with the Knicks. A whopping 87% of the simulations I ran had Tobias Harris going to the Knicks and followed closely by Chris Middleton from the Bucks. Now this one was 80% of the time, but let's move on to the next one because it is hilarious. They got Clay leaving the Warriors. <laughs> they got him going 62% of the time. They, they, they got him going to the freaking Sixers. I don't see this happening at all, but it really is a pretty damn good fit just from a basketball standpoint. So even though this probably ain't going to happen in real life, it's still good to see that the game is thinking. Now this next one's interesting. I could see, again, encouraging signs of the game actually thinking and making some sense. Okay, so before the AD trade going to the Lakers, we actually had 72% boogie going to the Lakers. But then once we had AD on the Lakers, it actually went down to zero, zero percent of the time the Lakers signed him. So once again, it's encouraging to see the game thinking and actually making a little bit of sense. But on the other side of the coin, didn't really make a ton of sense that he stayed with the Warriors. Uh, they don't have his bird rights. They can't go over the cap. But 2K's got him staying there on another kind of contract that he had this year, like a mid-level exception type of contract. So that doesn't make a ton of sense. But on the other hand, I guess he was injured a lot last year. The market may not be all that great for him at the moment. He might want to have one fully healthy year with the Warriors to show teams what he can still do and then get a big payday next year, hopefully. But we got one guy left. Um, we had a similar situation with this guy. Big difference in before AD to the Lakers and after AD to the Lakers. So before that trade, it was like 68% of the time, something like that. 2K had Jimmy Butler going to the Lakers. 
but once the Lakers got AD, that 68% or so went down to about 21%. Now 2K's got him going down the hall, through the secret tunnel, to the Clippers. And of course there were zero times that they had him going to the Rockets, because uh, they don't have the cap space, which made me realize they need to build sign and trades into the game. I don't know, but aside from that, I, I could really see Jimmy going to any number of places. Hey, there's a lot of places he could terrorize young, entitled players. But now, you know what time it is. I want to know what you guys think. Let me hear it all in the comments. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Pop that like button for me one time before you go if you did enjoy. And subscribe if you're not already. Turn your notifications on. I'm going to be on 2K19 till it's time to transition into 2K20. At which time I'm going to go harder than I've ever gone before to improve the game. Make it the best it can be for all of us. So that is what we do. And we're going to continue on 2 with the pop what